challenges, obviously, uh, in the Boer uh, region, in, uh, in the state of Jongle in general. Uh, there are challenges that uh, have to do with, uh, with the floodings, with the impact of climate change, uh, and the impact that this is having on the population. And uh, this also has an impact in terms of uh, access and this is a population that needs uh, support, that needs uh, humanitarian assistance, that needs uh, support to development effort. been looking for the people of Jiangle. We have shared a wide range of issues, things that are facing the implementation of the peace agreement and also things that are facing the ordinary citizens. It's very impressive to be here um, with these uh, colleagues uh, that are supporting the cattle camps and the communities because we know how cattle is so important to the life of uh, the people here and uh, the fact that uh, here uh, their cattle can be uh, uh, supported with uh, uh, vaccines and, uh, and also uh, uh, with other type of support, uh, it, it is really uh, peace building uh, in action, and uh, and this is really uh, what I believe uh, the communities need. Uh, it's a very important part of the uh, support that uh, we can bring to to the people of this region and to the people of South Sudan. reason for uh, hope because uh, I have seen a very good uh, team spirit between uh, the local authority, His Excellency the Governor and his colleagues who received us on the one hand and then on the other side the uh, UN team, UNMIS and, uh, and uh, other UN agencies and also the NGOs that are working uh, with us. So there's a, a, a team effort to try to address uh, these challenges. So this is what gives us hope. But obviously there is a lot of work to do and I can assure you that uh, uh, we are committed, the UN is committed to continue helping uh, the South Sudanese people.